Class 1 Levers The lever is one of the simplest machines and also one of the most common. The lever is a rigid beam that can pivot at a fixed point. We call the beam the lever arm and the fixed point is the fulcrum. The object to be moved or the resistance to be overcome is the load. The amount of force exerted to move or overcome the load is the effort. The lever can be set up in different ways. A class 1 lever has the fulcrum located somewhere between the effort and the load. With this kind of lever, the direction of force is changed. Effort applied downward moves the load up. Effort applied upwards moves the load down. If the distance from the fulcrum to the load is equal to the distance from the fulcrum to the effort, there is no mechanical advantage. You exert effort for the same distance the load moves. The force of the effort is equal to the force of the load. If the load is moved closer to the fulcrum, you gain a mechanical advantage. It now takes less effort to lift the load. In fact, the closer the load moves to the fulcrum, the less effort it takes to lift the load. But there is a cost. As the load moves closer to the fulcrum, the effort must move a greater distance, and the load is shifted a shorter distance. You trade reduced effort for increased distance. Think how difficult it would be to pull a nail out of wood with muscle power alone. The job becomes simple with a claw. Here's the fulcrum load effort. Hammer. Hammer. The claw hammer is a class 1 lever. The handle and the claw of the hammer, hammer work as the lever arm. In this case, the lever arm is not straight but curved. The fulcrum is the top of the hammer head. It rests against the wood. The nail is the load, in this case a resistance to be overcome. Although you push the handle for a greater distance than the claw moves, you don't need as much effort to pull out the nail. Imagine two claw hammers, one with a long handle and one with a short handle. Which hammer would pull the nail with the less effort? Other class 1 levers include the crowbar and the tack puller. Can you see where the load and the fulcrum are and determine where the effort is applied? Class 1 levers can be joined. Two levers working together form a double lever. The fulcrum is the place where the levers cross. Examples of double class 1 levers are scissors and tin snips, which are shears for cutting metal. The levers work together to apply pressure. The load is the material's resistance to the cutting blades. A crowbar is another example of a class 1 lever. A claw hammer acts as a class 1 lever when used to pull a nail. Double class 1 levers offer an advantage of either distance or effort. When you cut through paper with long bladed scissors, you gain distance. The short looped handles are moved a small distance while the blades cut through a long distance. Using tin snips, you gain effort. The long handles move a greater distance than the short blades do. That gives you enough power to cut through metal. Pliers and bolt cutters are double levers too. What kind of advantages do they offer? Scissors and tin snips are examples of class 1 levers.